Hi, this is Dave Vellante, and this is The Cube. We're here at the Hack Reduce event, where we bring you the best guests that we can find. We extract the signal from the noise. We're here with Jeff Bagnon, who's a partner at Atlas Venture. Jeff, thanks for coming back on The Cube. My pleasure. It's great to be here. What an event. So Hack Reduce, wow. The governor was here. He said he didn't get big data. Then he told us what big data was. He gets big data, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. He gets big data every day. You know that. And he gets jobs, and that's what this is going to create is jobs. Yeah, so, so speaking of jobs, You've got three companies in the pipeline that you've funded. Uh, DataZoo, Veracode, and Bit9. They've, they've probably created, what, three, four, five hundred jobs this year? Yeah, that's right, about 500 jobs between the three of them this year. Um, all three of them are doing very well. They're looking to be sustainable companies for the Boston ecosystem, and they're hiring really talented people. It's, it's really gratifying. Yeah, so let's talk about each of them. So, so DataZoo, analytics company you know talk about them a little bit right so if you think about data zoo think about all the money that's going from offline advertising spend tv print and it's coming online data zoo helps big companies procter and gamble american express ford kellogg's you know visa make sense of how much money comes online how do you measure that that's coming online multi-channel attribution do you want to do TV? Do you want to do web? Do you want to do mobile? Do you want to do video? And they're absolutely killing it. Growing over 100% year on year. Uh, fantastic management team. Uh, IPO 2013, 2014. Yeah, so then you got uh, Veracode. Bob Brennan's running Veracode now. Great guy. Uh, we've had him on before. Oh, good. So security for the cloud. Really interesting model. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so Veracode's whole premise is if you think about software, it's too insecure today. It's too susceptible to attacks. And so every piece of software that's deployed out there, whether it's internally developed or whether it's purchased, it should be varicoded. We're making a verb out of it. If you haven't varicoded it, you shouldn't deploy it. You know, we take any piece of software, we'll tell you where the security vulnerabilities are, down to the actual line of code. Um, an another company growing 100% year on year. Big, big customers deploying it. Um, and us as society, we should feel good that big companies are you know, deploying it because security is a big issue today. Well, and Bit9, another one, right? Yeah, definitely. Bit9, if you think about the malware and you think about the next generation attacks that are happening, and this is not just companies, this is nation state, um, it's really cyber warfare. And Bit9 is the blueprint for next generation infrastructure endpoint. And that endpoint could be your laptop, your desktop, your cell phone, and servers, and it's protecting really the crown jewels of an enterprise. I, I think right now, you know, about 100 out of the Fortune 500 are deploying Bit9 and, and just going up from there. Now, all three companies, Jeff, are IPO candidates, is that right? Knock on wood, yes. No, like, we're focused on building big, sustainable companies in New England. Um, we don't want to sell these. We want these to be the jewels in New England, and we want these to survive for the next 10 or 20 years. Well, the IPO market's back. I mean, I mistakenly thought that Facebook was really going to be the catalyst, and that was a big dud. I mean, it, it, relative terms, it didn't draft like we wanted it to. But then Workday comes along. You saw ServiceNow, Ooh. fantastic. So you got to love the, the Workday action. Talk about that a little bit. So I think what the street wants, the street wants, like, forecastable revenue. And if you think about SaaS products, SaaS gives you recurring revenue, and it's a cash annuity. And if you have growth, and you have sticky customers, and you have customer entanglement, the street can value that. And I think that's been a problem. If you've looked at Facebook, Groupon, Zynga, and some of these other things that have crashed, and then you look on the flip side and you see Demandware, Workday, you know, Splunk, you see a difference. And, and I really think right now the, the street is craving quality substrate, and quality substrate right now, SaaS, Enterprise, sticky products that are making a lot of money, and all three of these companies definitely qualify for that. Yeah, and, and it, you know, folks, it's like an ATM. I mean, essentially, you're talking about printing money down the road. Very predictable. You can understand what, what, what the book to bill is and, and really forecast your business, right? You're right. I mean, that's the whole thing. With SaaS, with SaaS companies, all you have to really understand is growth rate, lifetime value of a customer, churn rate, and how much it costs to acquire a customer. Once you got that, it's math. And math is what the street wants. And the other ingredient, too, of course, is the customers love it because you don't have to install software. You don't have to maintain the software. You know, why, 
why? I mean, it's the CRM model, the Salesforce model, really brought to all these other industries. I'm a bit surprised that it's taken so long. Are, are, are you, or why, why is that? I mean, behavior changes very slowly. And, and if you think about it, we're sitting in a room today, we have a thousand node cluster in the sky that all these 200 data scientists are gonna connect to. That's a new precedent, right? I mean, that's, people come in here all the time and they're like, where are the servers? And you're like, they're up there, guys. They're up there. In the wall. Right. All right, Jeff, hey, thanks for spending some time with us. Great to see you as always. My pleasure. Great seeing you guys. Thank yeah, you very much. Congratulations on the launch. All right, take care. All right, keep it right there. This is Dave Vellante. This is theCUBE. We're right back.